Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna be learning about keyless locking devices and helping us out is Bob Whipple. He is with the Climax Metal Products Company, and Bob, welcome. How are you, man? Glad to be here. Well, what are we gonna be learning about today, man? Today, we're gonna to show how a Climax keyless locking assembly can be used to repair a shaft hub connection that has a failed or rolled keyway. Well, I'm not familiar with that product line, so why would someone want to use a keyless locking device? Most keyway failures are a result of repeated pounding and excessive and increasing fit clearance. Over time, this either causes the key to shear in half or more commonly, the keyway to wallow out, leading to a catastrophic failure of the connection and ultimately downtime and loss of production. Instead of the extremely small contact area the keyways are able to utilize, Climax KLDs make use of the entire circumference of the shaft. Think of them as nothing more than a mechanical interference or sweat fit. When properly installed, they facilitate a totally backlash-free connection impervious to the repeated pounding that fails keyed connections. Okay, well I guess that makes sense, but what if the application is already using keyways? Does that become a problem? Not a problem. Climax keyless locking devices are capable of being installed over empty keyways and in fact over seriously damaged ones as well. This will often save the customer considerable money in not having to replace the components and the labor as well. So how do I go about repairing a damaged shaft by using a keyless locking device? The first thing would be to remove the damaged components, including the failed key itself, from the shaft. Then any high spots on a damaged shaft need to be taken down with either a file or a handheld grinder. Well, if we're going to be doing that, then we want to put on our PPE first and make sure that you always wear the proper PPE on the job, whatever it calls for. Okay, we've got that on. What happens next? Where are these high spots that I'm going to find and file down with the grinder? They're usually immediately adjacent to the damaged keyway itself. Okay, well then what happens next? What do you do? The shaft should then be wiped clean and lightly oiled with ordinary petroleum oil. The hub to be mounted needs to be bored out to the correct diameter specified in our keyless locking device catalog. All we require is a straight through bore with relatively liberal machining tolerances. All right, well then how are the components then mounted and reassembled using the Climax products? Very simply, the locking assembly is then slid onto the shaft, uh, paying attention to position the slit anywhere but over the empty keyway and one of the screw heads directly over the empty keyway. The drive element, sprocket, shiv, etc., is then placed onto the locking assembly and properly positioned. Remember that Climax keyless locking devices provide for generous fit clearances so that adjusting the drive element actually or timing it is relatively simple. Once everything is properly positioned, finger tighten all the locking screws so that the heads are in contact with the face of the inner ring. So now it's just a matter of we take the wrench, we tighten the screws, and we're good to go, right? Almost, but not quite that simple. All keyless locking devices must be tightened with a calibrated torque wrench. The correct torque value is printed on the product label. It can also be found on the installation instructions shipped with each keyless locking device, as well as on our website. Per the instructions, the wrench should be set 5% above the specified tightening torque. Starting with the screw immediately adjacent to the slit, tighten each screw a quarter turn, moving sequentially from screw to screw around the locking assembly until quarter turns can no longer be achieved and the wrench indicates you've reached 105% torque. At that point, go around the locking assembly and tighten each screw two more times. Mm -hmm. This is to compensate for the fact that every time you tighten a screw, you slightly relax the one immediately behind it. Now, set the torque wrench back down to the specified tightening torque and check to ensure that each screw is torqued to that value. Well then, what's next? Are, are, are we finished? Now we're finished, and you have a keyless backlash-free shaft hub connection that's superior to the original OEM keyed one. In addition, you didn't have to remove the damaged motor, shaft, gearbox, et cetera, saving the customer time and money. That's awesome, Bob. Nice job, we appreciate it. That was Bob Whipple. He is with the Climax Metal Products Company. Now, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be able to help you out. Hopefully, this helped you with your practical application. And as you saw earlier, before we got started, we put on our PPE. Make sure you wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. And also make sure that you watch other how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching.